Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Kelly and I have been knowing each other for a while, as she's stated earlier, and we have been through some time. So I want to say thank you to Kelly. Thank you to Empower. I'd also like to acknowledge a few people who have made this possible in my life. You don't do this by yourself. You don't get here without a lot of support from your family, a lot of understanding from people that want to know who's calling you at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Why do you have to work all weekend? Why haven't you had a day off in the past three months? And have they lost their minds? So absolutely, my family, to my husband, uh, Thomas, would you please stand? <laughs> to my children, uh, Antoine and Damien, please stand. <laughs> To my sister, Belinda, who always wanted to know, declare an emergency so I can stay home. <laughs> you know. And the reason for that is because she also used to work for emergency management and fully understood being on call seven days a week, 24 hours a day. To my granddaughter, who everyone has told me will keep me young, I'm, you know, I'm not sure, <laughs> but Paris, who is uh, keeping me young, to the staff who are here tonight. Thank you, Karis. <laughs> to some of my staff, and again, it, it, it's not because of me, it's because of the people who surrounded me. You always surround yourself with some of the best staff, and I have three of the best here tonight. Uh, from uh, Tanya Mitchell, who uh, was my special events coordinator, uh, my confidant. <laughs> My person to tell me, absolutely not, you can't do that. <laughs> In which I answer, don't tell me how I can't do it. Tell me how to get it done legally. <laughs> to my operations officer, Carrie Payne. <laughs> to Joellen Conti, my, uh, I should be saying X because I'm retired. Uh, public information officer who taught me, you need to talk to the media. Stop it. You have to talk to them. Um, so just get out there and do it, so, and guide me along that way.